Norm Macdonald, whose new program, A Minute with Stan Hooper, debuts on Fox tomorrow at 8.30. Up against the factor, man. I don't yeah, know. It's I know, a tough I time know, slot. I know. It's not so easy. So we want them to tape Stan Hooper and watch the factor. I was going to mention uh, earlier, because I know this is a no-spin zone. You bet. And, uh, and the Kozlowski uh, thing, I saw a little bit of spinning. A little yeah. bit, a little bit. And I'd like to say I was also a, a shareholder of Tyco. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did get invited to the party in Sardinia. You did? Yeah, and you didn't miss anything. <laughs> that guy with the giant wings made a clumsy uh, pass at me over by the ice right? sculpture. I thought you might have been the sculpture there for a minute. What but, the? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> now, you were at Saturday Night Live, okay? Yes, sir. It was a good gig for you, a weekend update and all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Then you did the, the Norm show. Yes, sir. I never got to see the Norm show. I never watched it either. No, no one did. <laughs> no. And it was gone. It was gone. Um, you know, an interesting thing is that uh, even, if a, a sh even if no one watches a show, right. uh, it still gets ratings like a million people watch the show because uh, people just don't turn their TVs off. <laughs> Is that right? So yeah. if there's nobody in the room, it still yeah. clicks in. I guess that's what's happening at CNN. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the, this show, how do you get two shots? Because most people don't get any shots. You know how many comedians there are out in L.A. Oh, yeah, trying yeah. to troll to get a show. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And this is, this is another show starring you. How'd you do it? I just, I, I think, uh, pure raw uh, talent. Yeah? They yeah. just saw it in you. Huh? Yeah. There's no, uh, there's no, uh, there's no substitute for that. <laughs> <laughs> they had to have you. Yeah. Fox demanded Norm McDonald. Exactly. Get him. Get him. How much control you have over this vehicle? Uh, Romano controls his show. Yeah. Um, Romano? Ray Romano. Oh, Ray Romano, right? of right. course. You know, yeah. right. I know. Not as talented as you, but he's coming on. He's coming on. Um, how much control you got over this show? Well, uh, I got a lot of control over it. I, uh, I don't uh, rehearse, so I write all week. Do you write? Yeah. yeah. You write the show. How many other writers with you? Uh, five, uh, and they're crack staff. All right, so the show's going to have an edge because you're, that's what kind of stuff you do. No, it's not going to have an edge. No, it's going to be a bland kind of an Ozzy and Harriet ripoff? No, sir, it's going to be a uh, Green Acres ripoff. <laughs> I can just see you in the overalls. Yeah. Um, you play uh, a commentator on television. I play a commentator. I uh, hate those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care for them either. I play a, a guy that uh, works in New York. You understand? And uh, he does his minute every week of uh, virtue. Uh, extolling... Like Andy Rooney. Not Andy Rooney. He's not a humorist. He, he extols the virtues of small town life like Mr. Charles Osgood. Oh. And, uh, but he's very disconnected. He, you know, he goes to parties at William Paley's uh, house. You look a little like Osgood. They, you know, know. You run that picture back. Can you put it next to Norm's face? Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> that's you in uh, eight years. After yeah. you work for Fox, that's how you're going to age. Okay? <laughs> no, believe me, me, I've been here seven years. That's I, how you I don't age. look like that. I'm trying to look like that. So you moved to a small town in Wisconsin, action. right? Yes, sir. Okay, and that's going to be funny. I'm going to be uh, amused by that? I'm not going to spin you. No, you're not going to care for it at all. <laughs> All right, now, you hit it big, and then you get the residuals and all of that, the Simpson sure. money yeah, yeah. rolling in. Yeah. You don't hit it big, you care? Um, well, first of all, uh, I believe the, uh, the actors in the Simpsons, I don't think Bart got one penny of that. No, but the guy who did his voice. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, okay. I get a lot of money after that. Do you? But I'm not in it for the money. What are you in it for? The money. I am in yeah, it for the money. I, I know you are. I was going to spin. Yeah, no, you can't. This I, is the no spin I zone. I know. I for, keep forgetting. You know, you can use that in Stan Hooper if you want. The no spin? Yeah, yeah you can use that kind of and stuff. Then, and yeah. I wouldn't demand any money. Okay, cool. Um, Saturday Night Live, uh, do you watch anymore? Yes, sir, I do. You do? Is yes, it as good when now as in when you were there? No. Well, because you're not there. Basically because I'm not there. Right. <laughs> but you do watch it. Yeah, I watch it. Because I've lost kind of contact with it. I mean, I think it's a, maybe a generational thing. It is a generational thing. I'm, I'm 61 years old, young. I say 61 years. Right. I say 61 years experienced. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I watch the show, I don't even know what they're doing uh, parodies of because they're doing parodies of like MTV shows that. Yeah, I mean they're they're jewel. They're making fun of, and I have no idea. Yeah. So I'm sitting here. Yeah. Um, when you do this uh, Fox show, um, if it is successful, yeah. are you going to change? Am I going to change? Yeah. Are you going to be yeah, the same gonna, guy you are now, the humble guy? Who... I'm going to be the same dirty son of a bitch as I am now. <laughs> right. Thank you. This is live tonight. We appreciate it. Well, that. that's not that's not swearing. No, no, of course not. No, that's just I think Fox. That's, that's part of the. That's Fox. That's we're going to see that in Stan Hooper, aren't we? No, we're not going to use such All language. Right. Norm McDonald, good luck with the show. Tonight, Dennis Miller's taking a lavish vacation, as is his want. So we turn to another Saturday Night Live alum for words of wisdom this evening. Joining us now from Los Angeles, man about town, Norm McDonald. Good to see you, Norm. Hi, happy New Year you? to you, sir. Oh, Happy New Year. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. We had a great Christmas, and uh, we, were, uh, we were saying Merry Christmas quite often. 
And uh, yeah, I in L.A., in L.A., there. Uh, I mean, I know you've maybe won the culture war, but in L.A., it's it's, it's still a little secular, progressive. I, I had carolers come to my house, and and I have a feeling they may have been atheists, because of some of the carols they sang. Like they sang, uh, "Nothing rest ye merry gentlemen," <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Hark the Harold Johnson sings. Yeah, they couldn't get the God in there. Uh, you know, and that's the age we live in, that there are certain uh, parts yeah. of the country that are uh, just not going to get into the Christmas spirit. Now, are you a but Democrat? But I love Christmas. I, I, I don't like to, uh, to say I'm a Democrat or a Republican because I, uh, I don't subscribe to either. You know, like I'm very pro-life, but I'm against the death penalty, so I don't know what you'd call that. Well, pro-life means that you want people to live, and if you're a death, against a death penalty, that's consistent. Um, but So you're yeah. an independent like I am. You're, you want the best person in. Has yeah, anybody, I would vote for the person. Has anybody impressed you so far? Any of the presidential candidates impressed you so far? Yeah, I love John McCain. He's, uh, he was my favorite uh, eight years ago. Um, but even eight years ago, he was the old guy back then, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's, he's, but he's spry, you know. He's he's, yeah, he, he's elderly, but he's spry. You know, I mean, I think he's got more energy than Fred Thompson, who's not quite as old as he is. Yeah, no. Fred Thompson looks like he's always falling asleep. But uh, I do think that if if the surge continues to be successful, it is possible that if McCain gets the nomination, that he could actually win. Uh, I think that any of these guys could win at this point um, because it's so fluid. And if you take Iraq, as you pointed out, off the table, you take that away, then the ideologues, their influence diminishes and people will have to evaluate which candidate has the best plan. Now, Hillary Clinton, obviously a lightning rod. Um, the Hollywood community is, is what, 80 percent? liberal and they're kind of split between Hillary and Obama how do you see this you're out there you you schmooze with these people well I've watched Hillary on the campaign trail and I must say she has some image change or something she looks to me much more lifelike <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, and also ladylike she seems like a she almost seems like a live lady now well they've softened her image you know, yeah. because she was coming across as a little Margaret Thatcher-ish. You know what I mean? Yes. Do what I say or I'll kick your butt. And now they're trying to say, do what I say or somebody else will kick your butt. Not me because I don't want to get my hair messed up. But <laughs> the, the Obama-Hillary Hollywood conflict. See, they're, they're all liberal, but they just don't know which way to go out there. And I feel their pain, don't you? Yeah, I, I know Obama is... This guy's like a freight train, and now that Dennis Kucinich has said that he might throw his support, man, he's going to be unstoppable with that. <laughs> that's right. So that's at least six, <laughs> six or seven votes that yeah. Sean Penn. That's the, that's, that's the equivalent of me throwing my delegates behind him. Now, when you... I think, I think Kucinich is, is just barely above Ahmadinejad on the polls right now. Yeah, do, do Kucinich and Ahmadinejad are running neck and neck, and... Um, but we like Kucinich. No matter what you think about his politics, he's a stand-up guy. Now, Miller yeah. loves Giuliani. Miller is like Giuliani guy. What do you think yeah. about the mayor? Well, I, I, I'm, he's pro I mean, he's pro-choice, which is a little bit of a problem with me, but I remember when I was in New York, and my God, he changed that city around like crazy. Uh, he did such a great job. And I remember, like, my friends complaining. They were like, oh, Times Square, you know, it lost all its character. But I lived in New York during that time, and Times Square was just, just prostitutes and junkies and serial killers prowling arcade. I mean, there was, you know, it wasn't yeah, character. That, it wasn't like... That's the liberal wasn't platform. Exactly they like that junction. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yeah. petty coat junction. That's secular progressive heaven you just described there, Norm. That's what they want. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. It's diversity, Pete man. Shows. It's diversity. <laughs> Pete Norm shows McDonald, on everybody. demand. Yeah, that's right. Norm McDonald, thanks for <laughs> filling in for Miller. We appreciate it. Happy New Year to you, Norm. When we